Hello there! This is day 7 of the Linux Upskill Challenge and today we're going to install Apache. Bring it on. Apache is a well-known web server software that is used everywhere. So today we're going to learn a bit about services as well. Let's start with a sudo apt update. So we, we can use the latest version of Apache. Now we can use sudo apt install apache2 With this installation we can say that we already transformed our regular server into a web server so we can test that looking into our instance public IP address and copy the public IPv4 address let's put this one here Aha! Nice! And Apache is running, it works. To install Apache, it's pretty simple. We just pull it from the apt install. But what is, does Apache really do? It's provide a service for HTTP access. If you want to check the status of that service, sudo system control status Apache. Here, it's active and running since three minutes ago <laughs> when we finished installing I can work with these services using this tool system control this is con controlling the system services obviously this is for the system D there is this sysv in it for different distros older distros but we're not going to touch on that now what else we can do with the service we can stop it stop Apache to this is my stopping it's an active dead right now so if I came here and I refresh is no longer able to access my page so let's start the service now again start Apache let's check the status it is running and it's available again it's control it's a service manager and we can use start to activate one or more units specified we can deal with more than one service simultaneously we can stop or deactivate we can use restart when we need to apply a change that we did to the configuration file of that service status enable is going to ensure that the service is running every time the system is rebooted disable is on the other side if we want that service to not be used and to require a start to have it running so those were the basic commands for system control and to manage your services you can see that we can uh, use that other services like SSH so you see that is running since one week ago so let's check that configuration file then remember that etc is the folder the directory for the system configuration files so etc apache2 apache2.conf since I did not use sudo to open with vi, it's going to show me that is read only. I cannot do any changes to this file. If I want to do, be able to do changes, I will have to open this as sudo. Uh huh. See, no longer read only here. This is the main Apache server configuration file. That is configuration for modules, for sites, for the ports all those files that were described in the beginning of the of this configuration as part of configurations that you can use separately for different modules you can use a confenable.conf to have all of them considered during the configuration and they are going to be loaded on, when the service is started what we see here is a generic page that came with apache so i'm going to change that vim bar www html index also read the only so this is a splash screen of the apache server there's a lot of stuff here what we can do is delete everything and we're going to insert our own html
Okay, let's use a simpler version of that. Save this. It works. So our change was applied here successfully. Now we can check if that happened in the logs. Var log Apache access log. All of those are instances of me using a Firefox on a Fedora Linux getting the HTTP page from the server. This was a quick one. Have fun working with Apache. See you tomorrow.